Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to link Web of Flow collections to your Firebase database. Let's begin. Linking Web of Flow collections to your Firebase database involves integrating your Web Flow site with a Firebase so that the data from Firebase can populate your Web Flow CMS collections. Now, the first thing that you need to remember is that you need to open the designer on the canvas that you're working with because Webflow does not have a built-in connection for Firebase. You'll need to use a combination of Webflow's API and the Firebase's API and potentially some custom code or third-party tools. Now, all you're going to do is click on edit. Once you are here, Basically, linking these platforms can provide several benefits and serve various needs depending on your project's requirements. So I'm switching over to my Firebase dashboard. Now, once you are on the Firebase console, you need to create a project if you haven't already. All right, go to home and then create a project. Now, depending on the your needs, set up either firebase firestore or firebase real-time database all right and then you just have to follow the firebase setup and make sure that your database rules are set up to follow read and write access as needed for your application now if you find obtaining your webflow api key a little bit hassle and you don't have the uh, technical expertise to interact with your webflow collections programmatically the things that i would suggest is go to the platform called zapier all right so all you're gonna do it's very easy you have to just have to create an account here if you haven't already now you can connect firebase or firestore to webflow and automate your work you can choose a trigger add an event that start an automation you can choose an action the event an automation performs after it's triggered Connect these apps using this orange button and you can have all of these endless possibilities. So let's click on that. You see, when you go to the Firestore first or the Firebase, all they're going to do is choose an event. You can maybe choose the new child object in a Firebase real-time database. It triggers when a new child object is discovered within a specific path. Or you can choose the latter, which in which is, wherein triggers when a structured query returns when new documents within a cloud Firestore collection. I'm gonna choose the former. Now go to the Webflow, and of course you can also choose an event. For example, it creates an action or create an item to a given collection, or it creates live item when adds a new item to a given collection on your published site. After that, you just have to authenticate these apps. You can sit back and relax because Zapier will do all the work for you. All right, and click on publish, and that's that. Now, there is another platform that I want you to explore, and that is BuildShip. So I've I used this in the past. It's very easy. It's like Zapier because you can integrate Webflow and Firestore to automate workflows with scalable backend. You can simply connect Webflow and Firestore nodes to your workflow integrate with any tool or database the thing is no code required you got, just have to connect webflow and firestore all right basically as you can see it from here you can add trigger node all right this will start to workflow execution and just follow these steps now the thing is if you click on this connect webflow you would be forwarded to another page wherein you can sign in with their google or continue with jethub i'm going to continue with a google account so we could explore this platform now just wait for it and of course just follow the on-screen prompt now once you have created your account successfully all you're going to do is just follow the on-screen instructions all right now another platform that you might want to check into is yep code but make sure you have the technical expertise on dealing with yep code because although you can connect firebase real-time database and the webflow cms entries in the uh, server serverless environment you might want to use this recipe right so it requires coding background all right if it's not meant for you you know this is for uh, the uh, those who have like a back-end uh, developer kind of thing 
but of course we're just here to explore many options on how to link your webflow collection to the firebase database store and one of them you can use um, the javascript python so there's a lot that you can do if you click on the use this code you can clone and use this recipe into your yep code account all right after cloning you'll need to create the credentials clone using javascript basically one of my partners are using this platform so i ask him um, to guide me through it and all i'm going to do is sign into your account just like the uh, build ship earlier and of course again this is only for uh, advanced method to explore if you want to link your webflow collection to your firebase database to have more control on the back end all right but again if you don't want that let's try to explore an api Pi. so i've been using api Pi for quite some time you can integrate firebase real-time database with webflow by aa agents and assistant all right no credit card required seven days free trial very generous and lightning fast setup uh, i've uh, used this in the past multiple times all they're going to do is connect firebase automation and you would be asked to rec um to sign up i'm going to do that right now as you can see you can try it for free click that okay so last but not the least is integrately i've also used this in the past to automate some workflows basically they also have the firebase firestore plus webflow integration lets you integrate these platforms without any learning curve you don't have the background at least we're going to explore from uh, api pi integrately build ship and of course zapier so it's all up to you here you can select what will start the automation for example orders created in webflow or orders updated in webflow we're gonna click on the instant and of course you select what the automation will do you can update firebase real-time database or record a database or create firestore document in firebase just click on that it would be forwarded here and again you would be required to connect these apps let's do that to explore now once here it integrately is already creating your automation just wait for it and of course you need to sign into webflow we'll do that and of course it would be forwarded here just select the uh, workspace click on that and authorize the app just wait for it to load because remember integrating firebase with webflow allows for greater flexibility to adapt and evolve your site's features and content management as your needs you can extend functionality and add new features or adapt to your requirements more easily after you've done that all you're going to do is click continue and that's basically how you link webflow to firebase thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one